stores. You have to go buy this, that, and the other. So if you're spending all this money on the accessories, at least give us the storage for it. Well, yeah, it's what, like $69 a game or $59 a game? I can't remember the last time I bought. Uh, 60 bucks right now. Next gen supposedly going to be 70. So that's 60 bucks with your $10 subscription. Plus you want to get the season pass or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just that, ridiculous, you know? Yeah. And, um, you, yeah, know. you can spend $150 on a game and it just came out. Mm-hmm. You know what I am glad that I'm not seeing a lot of, I don't know if you remember when I think it was Halo reach came out and you could buy like the master chief collection and you got a, like a box and figurines and they had all those like legendary edition games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, but you really just get a game. With a whole bunch of tchotchkes to go with it. Right. But you know what? That So I, I I hear that point. I like it, though, because the people that do buy those things get get more of the stuff that they want. Because I know that I've, I think I bought, like, one collector's edition. It was, like, for a Final Fantasy game or something like that. Um, but, like, that money helps to helps to recoup some of the costs, like, up front initially. Just to, so, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it, if it creates less season passes for the rest of us, if 5% of the orders are six times the amount of the normal game, and that helps, you know, because that 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 stuff drives me crazy with the you get the game at 60 bucks. That Evolve games. Anybody remember Evolve? Uh, it was for Xbox. Uh, barely, yeah. It basically is 4v1. There, someone's a monster. The monster has three tiers of strength. And the four people, they play, you know, whatever. It's like a first-person shooter. And then, it, so it came out. And everyone was super excited about it because the concept seemed cool. And all the trailers seemed cool. And it was pay, it was pay to win all the way through. You had to buy additional monsters. You had to buy additional soldiers. You had to basically buy everything. You, you, when Battlefield 4 came out, okay, to get the premium edition with all the maps for the, the same day that the game came out, it was $110. You know, I don't mind buying maps. Um, yeah. I think buying maps maybe like 10 years ago was more relevant. I think there were more people that were uh, going to buy a map pack or buy the season pass. But back then, you didn't have to buy maps. It was a demo disc that you get in a PC mag that you would get free maps for like out of, out of a CD. Out of, out of, I remember Call of Duty because I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. And Call of Duty always was, hey, you. they would release their map packs. It was like 15 bucks or 20 bucks, And you could either pay for the season pass, which is the same price as the game. And you'd get all of these different map pack releases. Mm -hmm. Or you can buy the individual map packs. I feel like now with, with Call of Duty, most of the people I play with, they're so turned off by previous Call of Duty games that they don't want to waste the yeah. money getting the season pass because... You know, like you don't know what's going to come out of it. Um, yeah. And then and then they'll have season pass one, two, three, four. It used to be you get the season pass, you get all the DLC for the life of the game. Mm -hmm. Now it's season pass one for year one. And they just keep they keep yeah. building it on. Like, I, it's just it, I, it's I don't stupid. Know. I, I, I honestly miss where you were. You would get stuff unlocked by your skill and ability. Yes, yes. I miss uh, those days. Um, I mean, I think the last true game that did that was maybe Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Where yeah. you, you know, based on the actions you did in the game and your skill in the game, you'd get a logo or mm -hmm. a title. Like, that was the coolest thing. That was the bragging rights. Like, I've got this title that you'll never be able to get because I dropped a care package on somebody. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I mean. Yeah, or even the skins. Uh, you know, you get like a fancy rainbow, turquoise, whatever. It was just like a cool thing that you had that nobody else had. And now yeah. it's just everything seems to be pushing more money. And I feel like we're getting less. Yeah. I'm sorry. Game Pass. Digital was already like. You know, we came from an era where you owned the game. Like, that was it. The console didn't need to be online. It, it didn't even have to be the same console, right? You just you pop it into PS2, you pop it into an Xbox 360, it worked, right? That, that, was, that, was the, that was the whole thing. Now it's, all right, you download the games, everything's digital, and it's whatever, right? So it's kind of like, um, well, you know, you own the games technically as long as the server's up, blah, 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 whatever. But now it seems like they're trying to even go farther away from that. And it's just give us 10 bucks a month, 15 bucks a month, play whatever you want but as soon as you can't you know you're screwed and it's like well uh, I, I don't want to pay 10 bucks a month this month well i also want to play this game well now you're you know what i'm saying it's i don't know it, it everything just feels like it's 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 stop being about the art and start being stop started being more about the well do you ever think we're going to get to a point where like the graphics plateau like we can't increase anymore you can't see any difference to the human eye and then we finally get to a point where we start focusing on the content of the game instead of what yeah i mean and, mm -hmm. and when i say content i mean like storyline the things that you can do yeah where i mean i remember popping in a, a call of duty disc and i'd be there playing the campaign for a week maybe two weeks mm -hmm. and now i pop it in i'm done with the storyline by the end of the day yeah before dinner you're done yeah. yeah it's crazy um you know do you ever think that something like that will happen where we can't improve graphically 
So we, we pause on that. We accept it for where it's at and then start focusing on the game itself. Because what, yeah. what else is there to do? Yeah, but I think we're getting there. So supposedly GTA 5 came out in 2013 is the, the fifth best-selling game this year. I'm trying to remember where I heard that from, but I heard that recently in uh, Kotaku or somewhere. So, but I mean, if you look at GTA 5, there's 100 hours worth of content. Oh, absolutely. And, then, and not even including the online stuff. And Rockstar has always set this sort of precedent, right? Like, we're going to take 10 years to make a game. But when you get it, you're going to be playing it for, for 10 years. Absolutely. And who else can say that? If EA and Activision, all these guys do that with the shooters. Like I tell Joey, like,